What's going on guys? It's Aviation Addicts here and welcome back to my YouTube page. In today's video, I am going to teach you all how to start up the new Airbus A380X by Fly-By-Wire in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. This will also work in Flight Simulator 2024 as well. Now, just to clarify, this is going to be a really easy tutorial. It's going to be very simple. We're just going to get straight to the point. This is meant for beginners or anyone who's just starting out in the simulator and just wants to get straight into the cockpit of the aircraft, click a few buttons and get the aircraft set up as quickly as possible. There will be more in-depth tutorials out there. I'm going to create some myself, but this is solely meant for beginners. So yeah. Here we go. What you want to do is go into the cockpit of your Airbus A380. Okay, once you're in the cockpit, you want to go to your overhead panel and you want to go to your external power switches. Now there's four of these, so you want to click external power one on, number two on, and then over on the right hand side, number three and number four. Once you've done that, you want to go just above your external power one switches and click on battery one, battery two, ESS bat and APU bat. So switch those all to on. Over here, you can also switch things on like the crew oxygen supply. Then you want to head up to the left hand side of your overhead panel and select your navigation aiders, all to nav. Now there's something I'm going to show you to get these working a lot faster as well. So listen up a little bit later in the tutorial um, to find out how to do that. Once you've done that, you want to go down to your APU, switch your APU to on and your APU start switch. You want to wait until this says available. You can also do things like turn on your seatbelt signs beacon lights, nav lights. There is a specific order that you should do all this in, but this is just for beginners, you guys. So this is in no specific order. This is just to get you started up as quickly as possible. Once your APU start switch changes to available, you then want to turn on your APU bleed. So you would click this switch here. If your engine bleeds, say off like this, you want to make sure that these are all switched on. So they should just be blacked out. And there's four of these. So engine bleed one, engine bleed two, three and four. Make sure that they are all blacked out. Now that our APU is available, we can go up to our fuel pump switches and you want to switch all of these off switches to on. So every single one of these on the left and right hand side switch them to on and in the center as well now if you go to the top right hand side you can also turn on this i'm not actually too sure what this does but i assume it's meant to be on i'm gonna have to research that to see what that actually is okay now that you've done all this, you are ready to start your engines. Now, you normally wouldn't start your engines at the gate, but for the purpose of this video and the quickness of this video, we're just going to do it. So you want to go to your overhead panel again, and this switch here that you see me turning, you want to change this here to IGN start. Once you've done that, you want to go to your center column and you have your four engine master switches. You would usually start engine one and four first and then two and three. But for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna start them all. Make sure your throttle's idle, otherwise you'll go launching into the airport, which you do not want. <laughs> and once you've done this, you guys, it's just a matter of simply monitoring your center panel here, you will see that everything's starting to move. All these dials are starting to move. And you want to wait until each dial says available. So we're now getting power to the engines. The engines are spilling up. And once that's done, it really is as simple as that. Now, I was talking about the navigation aiders. 
So if your system says map not available, all you need to do is go over to the left hand side and click on your fly pad. Now there's a reason that your map might be saying map not available. So if the realism of the aircraft is set to real, it takes time for your navigation systems to load. It can take five to 10 minutes sometimes. If you want this to load instantly, all you need to do is go over to your fly pad and click on the settings icon down the bottom left. Go three rows down to realism. And where it says Ader's align time, you want to set this to instant. That will change the map not available and it will load up your navigation system instantly. So that's how you can fix that. It's not really a fix because the plane is meant to do that, but that is a way to speed it up. That's probably a better way to word it. And here you have it guys, all of our engines are now available. You'll see if I start to push the throttle up, we have power to all engines, reverse thrust, we've got it all. It's as simple as that. If you guys would like any more help with any of our aircraft, if you want me to make any more tutorials on how to do certain things, just let me know in the comments. Please make sure to drop a like on this video and do not forget to subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching you guys and I'll see you all in the next one.